So we're going to start by revealing the app I use for editing this project. So if you go into your App Store or your Google Play Store, whichever, you go into that and you search for CapCut. It's completely free. This CapCut in particular. I can click Open. It's cut. My main take. Right. So to get this take, I had to use a tripod. You need to use a tripod. You need to keep the camera locked. So this is what I had to do. And in this, I just select each sections I like. So from here, if I tap on the clip itself, I get the option. So if I hit the split, I split out the section I don't want. And now I'm going to hit the delete to delete that section off. So if I slice this up, I'm going to delete this section off. Now I've got two cuts which I jump in. And very importantly, if you notice that the light doesn't really change between the scenes, although you can see it going up and down. But if you want to maintain that to have the same lighting result, you need to lock down the exposure. You need to now have a clean background of the scene. Very important. So now we've got all the cuts. These are all the selected cuts we like. If I tap the first layer and I hit um, overlay, it takes it to a different layer of its own. And I can push that all the way back to the start. And then the same I could do for the next clip. Now, as you can see, our background is pretty short. But the way to fix this is we can come in and speed. Curve. I just want to do custom curve. So I want to slow that image down so that that way we have a long background that fills up the entire scene. So if I push this forward, just get rid of that background for now. Let's deal with this clip piece by piece. So the first shot that's happening right here is the middle shot. If I tap on the clip, I can go in and we're looking for the mask. So in the max, we want to tap the film strip. The film strip does a two split cut in between the shots. I can rotate this to a 90 degree and frame it within my shot. But if you remember, we have our third person on the on the right, sorry. And we, we know this will clash up with the person standing there with my double. I'll call it double for now. And I want to position this right about there. If I hit the mask and I want to use the, the split. Now, as you can see, we've already cut out this subject and positioned him where it's needed like so and now there is three of us on the shot but you can see like there's a bit of uh, lines in between the shot that are really ruining it we need to make that blend so that's where we bring back our background and we're just gonna drop it see the problem is if i tap this i want to bring this back into the main timeline so main track and then this, I want to put this right into an overlay. And now we have successfully, I need to apply the masking again. So the masking for the last layer of me on the, on the right, sorry. So if I tap the split, I can rotate this to a 90 degree again, minus 90 degree and push that off to the side i can let me rotate that one second so if i rotate it that's gonna fix the issue i'm facing currently by just you know rotating it to a 90 degree instead of minus 90 degree so now we have we've got the clip of uh, my third character in the shot now with the background in the scene it kind of fills up some space that would have been left blanked and opacity I want to I wanna just bring down the entire opacity so you see what's going on here. So you can see there's a black gap in between. And when we do the fade in between each layer of the clip, we need that background to kind of fill in those spaces on the edge there. So I go split and I delete that off. And we'll fix all this in a second. So the lines, as you can see, the lines that are happening right now, it's kind of ruining everything. You can see the shots in between. And in my original clip, you see everything blend nicely. So to make it blend, you can easily just, you know, go into each clip and under the max information, 
you want to just move this if you move too much it kind of fades out the entire clip into the others so i want to just carefully just keep moving and hit okay then i go to the second one i'll do the same okay and the same thing goes for the last frame the masking issue we're having i want to fix that so if i go back into the mask and tap this i can just move that to the side and then click OK. Now we need to fade the edge for that mask because you can see it's really strong and it's really messing up the edit. So if I click OK, that is it fixed. And that's how you create this video. If you see that the way it jumps when the third layer is about to kick in, what I normally do is I just come in and go into the opacity. I need the opacity. So I place my first keyframe right there. So if I go into the opacity with the keyframe added, I can now come in and turn that off. And what that means is it's going to fade in nicely without giving away that a touch shot is introducing. The, the extra excess bit you see here, you can always chop that out to make it clean. So I could come in here and just chop everything, make it clean. And as you can see, I just created this effect for you guys again from the start and it's quite easy like i said if you still didn't understand or know how to do this don't worry about it i've got more tutorials that are coming out